Here we have a uh, Swallow Doretti. Now these cars are interesting, not only for the way they look, which is gorgeous, but also for the backstory. Swallow, the manufacturer, was part of Tube Industries, who were an automotive parts supplier. And they decided, because of their American contacts, to try and build a sports car to break the American market. So underneath this sleek skin are actually Triumph TR2 mechanicals. But Swallow was actually Swallow Coach Building, which had formerly been part of William Lyons's SS Empire. When he became Jaguar, when he switched the company name, he sold off Swallow Coach Building. And when it was bought back by Tube Industries, they decided to use the name to launch this new sports car. Well, William Lyons, among quite a few others, was unhappy at the prospect of a parts supplier becoming a rival manufacturer and not so subtly hinted that if Swallow didn't desist with the Duretti, that he would go elsewhere for his parts supply of door handles, uh, bumpers, windscreen frames, and all that sort of thing. So these are very short-lived. It was only 54 to 55. They only made less than 300. They're a gorgeous thing, but a what-if, and also a reminder of the power that a manufacturer has over a parts supplier.